insert intermediate plate onto the shaft's bearing. Tap intermediate plate by mallet. Ensure proper fitment. Insert snap ring to lock intermediate plate with output shaft. Ensure the arrow marked on the bearing retainer plate matches with the groove provided on intermediate plate. Insert bearing retainer plate into the shafts. Insert 8 bolts in the bearing retainer holes. Set the torque, tighten the bolts. Gear shifter rails assembly. Check visually the working face of shift fork. Assemble shift fork into the first second synchro pack groove. Ensure the extended boss of shift fork faces intermediate plate. Insert first second shift rail into intermediate plates first hole. Ensure shift rail passes through the shift fork hole. Insert the roll pin into the shift fork hole. Lightly smear two balls with grease. Insert one ball into the groove provided in first second shift rails. Insert the shift fork. Lightly smear the interlocking pin with grease. Insert it in third fourth shift rail. Insert third fourth shift rail into intermediate plate. Ensure the shift rail passes through the bush and shift fork hole. Insert the roll pin into shift fork hole. Insert another ball into the groove provided in third fourth shift rails from the hole in the intermediate plate.
insert reverse rail from arrestor and intermediate hole. Ensure rail passes through the arm. Insert 8 mm diameter and 13.5 mm long pin in the arm reverse shift hole. Place reverse lever shift. Lock the reverse lever shift pin by circlip. Insert idler gear into idler shaft. Ensure the round edge in the gear tooth profile in downward direction. Check the rotation. Apply sealant on transmission housing surface. Use recommended sealant. Insert complete gear train assembly along with intermediate plate into the housing. Match dowel hole.
set the torque and tighten idler shaft bolt. Set the torque and tighten pivot pin bolt. 